What's up Aquarius? Welcome to my channel, Tarot by the Intuitive Teacup. We're going to read your tarot cards here today. This will be a general message for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, of course, anyone is welcome into this reading. I just ask you bring an open heart and an open mind and a desire to better yourself. You're accountable and responsible for all your own actions and decisions, so I highly advise you only take away the messages that resonate with you, uh, that motivate, empower, inspire you, give you food for thought. Um, if you're not feeling any of those types of ways, uh, best click off, revisit it at another di uh, date. It might make sense for you later. And sometimes it just simply won't be your message, so feel free to check back another week as well. All right, let's do it, Aquarius. Let's do some helpful messages for Aquarius. Feel like someone's coming back with their tail between their legs because they thought the grass the grass would be greener elsewhere. Um, this feels like someone approached you with an offer to transition into something else with them or do something more, and you were kind of like, "I'm I'm good. I'm I'm at least happy or content here, or I'm just not ready to take that step." And there, there it almost feels like there was an ultimatum, like you know, do this with me or or you lose me. And so I think you were, you were willing to cut ties with this person because something about what they proposed felt very finalized or very, I don't know if manipulative is too harsh a word, but it, it, this person, it kind of feels like they gave you an ultimatum and that did not sit right with you. So you are willing to risk losing this person to follow your own sort of principles or, you know, ethical code or whatever it is. <clears throat> You even risked looking like an outsider or an outcast for this decision you made. I'm almost getting this idea that this could have been a long-term relationship and your family was very on board with it. And, and you may have even been encouraged to go against your belief that losing this person wasn't going to break you or cause your world to come crashing down. Um, and so a lot of people showed their true colors in this. This could even be something, if it's not romantic, it could be job related. <clears throat> Yeah, I just, I, I keep seeing a storyline where someone is begging you to do this thing with them, and I don't think you were rude about it. There was just, there was a very powerful no. And, and so the next step for them was rather than to negotiate or ask you more, they, they just kind of turned to, you know, woe is me, or, or, you know, I don't want to say victim mentality. I feel like that's such a heavy word, but it, it does sort of, more or less, kind of explain, like, I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, this person felt some type of way about it, and rather than addressing it in a high vibrational way, they just left. <clears throat> there was a lot of judgment that came with this, too. I feel like this person got in over their head. Um, and it's not to, to badmouth them for wanting to pursue and chase something they felt passionate about, but more or less, the, the circumstance I'm looking at is that by choo them choosing this thing, this career move, this location move, they were willing to let you go because you weren't okay with that compromise or any sort of negotiation. So whatever this person got into, they're a little bit out of their depth, and I do sense that they're sort of coming back to you with their tail between their legs. And I'm not sure that they're fully cutting off or severing ties with whatever they chose to pursue despite your reaction. That still may be a factor in this, but they need your help for something. This person has trouble being vulnerable. Um, this person may even have shame regarding their body. I'm not sure why that's coming through, but you know, confirmations for some of you. Yeah, they, they may be very critical of appearances, especially other people's appearances, but more so because they're so insecure about their own. This was actually all faded, in my, you know, humble opinion, because this allowed them... It, it's actually very similar to the Libra reading I did. I don't know if this involves a Libra. Um, this was a lesson in humility or being humble. Um, it, this situation without you actually forced them to, to be vulnerable and, and to put a certain amount of risk in their own personal beliefs. And I, it feels like they were met with a lot of opposition or disappointment. And so it almost feels like they might be retreating back to you out of comfort, but it's not necessarily because they, I don't know. But you question their loyalty. So I'm not sure you're going to take them back or that you even feel any sort of 
I, yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay. So you're fronting a little bit too, though. Like you were, or maybe this is them. I can't tell. I do get the sense that you guys were kind of peeking in on each other, but not verbally. Like there wasn't an open line of communication, but I, I get the sense that a lot of you may have like looked up their profile or, you know, their LinkedIn or social media just to be like, because I think maybe, I don't know, maybe you're only human, uh, you know, maybe you did question, was I too harsh? Was I not negotiating enough? Or, or maybe it was more out of concern, like what they're doing is irresponsible and stupid, but I'm not going to stop them. So you may have even been checking in just to make sure that they were like safe or okay or something. Um, <clears throat> and I don't necessarily question that they're in danger, danger, but... Something about what they're getting themselves into, there's like a weird power dynamic and they are very low on the totem pole. And I think this person, they may not have come back to you yet, but they're definitely trying to get a sense of if you're doing okay without them, if you found someone else or you whatever, another job or like this person is trying to position themselves to come back into your life at a time where the, that you'd be more likely to accept them or show them mercy or sympathy for basically leaving you high and dry. That's kind of what I get from this. You are in the brink of some sort of transformative energy though. And so I do think you are right to be like, thanks, but no thanks, or I can't go with you or, cause I don't really think you tried to talk them out of it. And I get why, you know, if it was their dream or their thing to, to want to pursue this, even if it was romantically, like, I want to get married or I'm gone, you were just kind of like, okay, well, you you should probably go and see what else is out there. Like, I see a very kind of like a, a cliche, I'll say, but cliche Aquarian just like not super like clingy about it. Just, you know, okay, breathing space is good. You know, pursue what you need to. I'm good. And I think you are right. I think you are, are in the process of transitioning into something in your career or feeling inspired in a new way. And so I think you are right to stay. Some of you may have really gone into um, like a, a deep focus on spirituality and faith. Um, I don't know how to describe this, but I'm almost getting very old school. Um, like, like some, I mean, a lot of religions have been around for, you know, ages and centuries, but that's sort of what I'm getting. Like you may have re reverted or converted really is probably the right word to some form of religion or spiritual practice of some kind. I know this isn't for everyone. I'm just getting that. And something about immersing yourself in that, it's definitely put this person in a different light. And I don't really see you taking them back. I see you sending them away. Because you're building up your own kingdom. You're building your own castle. You're, you are high ranking in your own life right now, which I think that's just a way of saying you're practicing healthy boundaries and self-love and uh, only accepting to be treated in, in a good, respectful, decent way. And if someone can't do that at the bare minimum, it's like they're, they're not of use to you. They're, they're not useful. They are uh, not contributing positively. They would be taking away from you energetically if they... The thing is, I think the person didn't realize what value you provided to them at the time. And this could even be someone who, who let you go, you know, during, during the, you know, the height of the pandemic in terms of a work thing. They may have released you and now they're calling you like, hey, so do you have a job? Do you, do you want to come back? And I, you can do whatever you want, Aquarius, and I know you will. That's what I love about Aquarians. But I don't see you bowing down to what used to be or that's not the right word, uh, accepting a, a past narrative. It's like I've grown from that. You know, that was me six months ago when you left. Like I am a completely new person right now. Or something in your life has really changed things up a great deal in a way that actually um, – empowers you and lifts you up. I mean, you're operating at six of wands. That's like the victory march, sometimes the wedding march too. You may already be connected with a new romantic suitor, possible, especially a Scorpio. Um, others of you, there's been a raise or a promotion. You found a replacement of whatever this person was offering you, but it never really met your standards. It sort of felt like you were um, sacrificing, negotiating. You were... There's a, there's a word for that. I know you guys know what I'm, I'm talking about. You were <clears throat> settling. Um, and, and I would argue that this, this was beneficial for both of you because this person came back very humbled, realizing what they had taken for granted. That was all the Libra reading. For you, you realized that you were maybe settling for less than you deserved or that you were willing to tolerate and put up with 
with people and energies that at, at basic was neutral, but it really didn't fuel your fire. And Six of Wands, he's, his fire has been fueled, he or she, right? And now he's, he realizes his potential and, and what he can acquire because of that sort of belief in self and that motivation driving factor, you know? You know, readjusting behind the wheel of his life, he, he moves forward in a, in a very triumphant, bold way. And I, I think you've ex recently experienced that, like, reawakening of, oh, when I put my efforts and work into this, like, great results. So, like, I want to keep doing that. And something about having this person around, you weren't able to pursue that thing. So I do want to underscore whatever happened, whether you choose to fix it or, or reunite with this person or this job, Whatever happened was absolutely beneficial to you, and it was beneficial to them, but in a much more whoopsie daisy type of type of way. Why is this card coming through, please? <clears throat> yeah, this person may have gone after something and didn't have any financial stability or support, and I'm I'm a big proponent of taking risks, but this person may have gotten themselves in too deep or really not thought that there was any consequence to, you know, not being able to support themselves. It's almost like you had been supporting them for a long time and then they, they jumped and they left without any sort of basic skills or knowledge about financial responsibility. And so this person may have had to turn to some desperate measures to make some money. Um, and I'm not sure how dark of a message that is, but for some of you, it seems very dark. Um, like this person may have had to compromise their own ethics or morals or or self-respect in order to, uh, to to make a quick buck because they were desperate. Um, yeah, this this person sort of very quickly became aware of sort of some darker energies or forces out there that were. They were an easy target. They were easy prey because whatever they got themselves into, they, they were slightly inexperienced. And so, yeah, they, they, they learned some difficult lessons, I guess is how I'll put it. They, they were met with a lot of Saturnian energy, Saturn, uh, you know, oppression, opposition, the heavy, the law. Okay, that could be it. This person may have gotten in trouble with the law or caught, got caught up in some sort of lie that really just got out of control. Um... And okay, so where this is headed, though, is that because of everything that happened, this person looks back and they realize just how good they had it with you or, or what what a good presence and energy you were in their life. Um, and so they're very caught up in the past. They're daydreaming about what used to be. But I think what they don't realize is that things have changed. Um, again, I'm not writing the narrative here. This is your story. This is your narrative. So if you're resonating, I want to underscore you can do whatever you want. I'm just reading the tarot cards here and sort of what I see is that this is a new chapter and so we can't go back to the past. It doesn't work like that. We don't have the le the ease or the luxury of just hitting reset. And, and for some of you, I just sort of get this idea like the damage has been done. Like you told me that I wasn't important to you. And so why? Because you come back now, I suddenly love you. Like it doesn't work like that. I, I don't see you guys being very sentimental about this. I don't even think you hate this person. I think you're just accepting what happened as they expressed their truth and it was an uncomfortable truth, but they did it. And so I'm going to take them at their word. This person changes their mind. They, I think they, this person wants to come back to you or is planning to come back to you. And they're going to like polish up. They're going to dress their best. So I'm going to say this. They're going to come back to you as best they can, but you already see who and what they are. So it's almost like, what is that expression? It's like they, I don't know. I don't know how to express it. Other than, you know, this person can come to you with a ball gown and champagne, but you know they're still like broke, broken on the inside. Or do you need like this person can present in this, oh, I have it all together and I'm so sorry and I'm flowers that you deserve and I'm going to treat you better, but... It's like the proof is in the pudding and this person, okay, this person talks a big game, but they lack the action. They lack the initiative to actually make these changes. And yet, they, this person chose a very significant action to go off in another direction away from you. So if they set their mind to it, they can absolutely make big changes. But I think this person may rush into things without thinking them through. And you've probably been burned before by this person or a similar circumstance. It's just not how you operate. It's like you guys are on two different levels. <clears throat> this might be a Pisces, a Gemini, 
a Scorpio, a Sag, doesn't really matter, but. <clears throat> yeah, some of you are going to have to turn this person away because you're, you're already full up. It's like, I, I don't have the capacity for you. I'm already engaged or I'm at a new job and I'm making bank or, or just quite frankly, like, I'm happy without you. You know, I'm, you know, it doesn't mean you're going to be a monster to them, but I just see you being like, oh man, I'm, I'm sorry that happened. Like, I'm doing great. <laughs> like, you know, thanks for asking. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't. I think you are, you have much higher standards of people you choose to work with now um, because this person really, um, something about loyalty. You thought this person was far more loyal than they were. Um, and I mean, it is a two way street in that if this person really loved you and wanted to be, wanted to be with you or include you, there's the potential for you to be a little bit stubborn or, or fickle about how much you were willing to negotiate or compromise. Maybe I'm bringing that up because if this person does come back around again, maybe it's saying you might need to negotiate this a little bit or, or this, per and I, I, you know, I don't know how to say this. Like there's. There's two sides to every story. So usually we're, we're the winners and the victors in our own story, or we were the one who were absolutely right. I will say, I think this person saw you as being um, inflexible or, or not hearing them out, out or shutting them off without, without fully expressing or explaining the details to you. Like I said, there was sort of just like a no. And part of me thinks it's very strong that you just, you weren't willing to negotiate. It was, it was past any point of, of yes, let's discuss this. Maybe we can work it out. You were just like, no. And, and that was that. So I guess uh, on the off chance, some of you are willing to let this person back into your life. It's only going to work if you are both more receptive of the other person's opinions and ideas and what they want to do. I, this doesn't seem like, the, yeah, the, there's no cups here that are like, yes, we express our emotions in a healthy, beautiful way. Like, I don't sense that there's a lot of love here. And so, again, for some of you, this might be with a coworker or a boss. It doesn't have to be romantic. But even so, like the potential to collaborate here, I think you find better somewhere else. And so for a good while, I don't see this coming back together. Like, yes, I missed you and I miss you, too. I just don't see it that way. I do think that whoever this person was who was like, no, like you can go do that, but I'm good here. It's because you, you knew or intuitively knew you were working on something bigger that was going to grow. And I do see that it, whatever this thing, like, I'm just going to stick it out here and see what happens. Well, what happens is the 10 of cups, but I think it, it happens in the absence of this person. So I, I don't know if you love something, set it free. But the thing is, I don't even know how much you love this person. Um, yeah, I don't know, Aquarius. Let's get let's get you a butterfly oracle card. Yeah, don't don't hold on to things out of lack, um, and that includes the idea of negativity, resentment, jealousy. That's coming from a negative place. You know, practice forgiveness, but it doesn't mean you have to take anyone else back. You know, holding on to things, material objects, energy, people out of out of a toxic shadow side. That's not good for anyone. Um, release it. And if it comes back to you, it's probably meant to be yours. But again, you get to be the deciding factor on if this person can change their behavior and treat you well. Because I honestly don't know. This person gets their ass handed to them. <laughs> and I don't mean to laugh. It's, it's actually kind of sobering. This person knows they messed up. But I think too little, too late is sort of coming through. I'm not going to read all these. But decisions, hobbies, and retirement. Let's, let's do the first one that came out. <clears throat> <clears throat> Here we go. Decisions. <clears throat> Excuse me. You drew this card because you're wrestling with a decision and are unsure which way to go. Your divine guidance has been attempting to show you the best path, so you already have the answer in your heart. Deep down, you know the right direction, yet fears are holding you back from taking action based on this wise resolution. This card reminds you to trust your inner knowingness and ask yourself, which path brings me closer to my life purpose? What would love do in this situation? Sometimes this card appears because you've been avoiding making a necessary decision. If so, you are being reminded that not making a decision is a decision. 
since you've already decided to allow things to remain the same. Similarly, if you're trying to choose between two options, there may very well be a third option for you. Additional meanings of this card. Pray for clear guidance and notice and trust the signs. I don't know why I'm, I'm my curiosity is piqued by hobbies, so I'm going to read that one to you too. <clears throat> How are you spending your free time, dear one? When you're going through life changes, hobbies can provide a stress outlet and a meaningful foundation. Your card, or I'm sorry, this card is guiding you to invest in these pursuits as a way to relax, learn, and enjoy yourself. You love to stay busy, and these interests bring fun into your hectic life. Hobbies can be productive, as many people turn them into careers. So imagine that you have unlimited time, energy, and money available for a hobby. What's the first one that comes to mind? That's your inner truth, and there's always a way to make it work on any budget and schedule. Joining a group related to your hobby is a wonderful way to make new friends, who can be there for you in the next chapter of your life. Any change, even a positive one, can be stressful, but with playful outlets like hobbies and good friends, it can feel purposeful and joyful. Additional meanings, self-employment, a career based on your passions, trying something new, balancing work and play. I didn't go into it too much, but there's definitely something, that whole storyline I gave you about joining some new spiritual or religious study it doesn't have to be religious, you know, Bible-esque, but spiritual work, outlets of spiritual community. I, I do see you potentially joining a, a group and finding a home in it. And even if it's not replacing one romantic option with another, it, it, it fills... When, when they left, there was something missing, but it wasn't anything good for you. But you found something to fill it that recharges you and is rejuvenating and happy. And for some of you, it might be a spiritual group or getting into, like like a tarot community or something of the sort. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with that, Aquarius. I hope this message spoke to some of you out there. Um, please remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys very soon for more tarot. Bye.